Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are on the Texas Tropical Trail, heading south into the valley and we're stopping by Zapata, Texas at the Zapata County Museum, which is a new museum which I never knew was here and once I discovered it I came to visit and I loved it. It's very informative, very high tech, very up to date. It has a lot to read and a lot of history to learn. Like every single section of text that I had to read, it looks like it's a lot, but it's very jam packed full of information. I wanted to stay here all day and just learn about everything going on in South Texas, all the history behind it, all of where our people come from, where they've been, what they're doing. And also, I got to wear a silly hat. I always have time for silly hats, which is really cool. Let's look at this guy. Isn't he handsome? Yeah. Anyways, um, he apparently had something to do with Zapata and surviving and it becoming the thriving community that it is nowadays. Um, this museum is well maintained, well kept. Has a lot of information. It goes through a lot of the history of when Falcon Dam was built and how it flooded their original Zapata and how they had to pretty much move it or abandon it and they moved it block by block or just left their homes and started a new life. And this was a reproduction of one of the gazebos that they had there. They decided to do it in honor of the old Zapata which used to be on lower ground, but it got flooded during the creation of the Falcon Reservoir. But I wouldn't have learned any of this if I hadn't have came to the Zapata County Museum. Definitely check it out. While you're there for something silly, go check out the Frontier Ranch. It's a pretty cool place. It looks weird, but inside there's a lot of oddities and arts and crafts that you can buy. They have everything from horse paintings to sh shell art to these creepy creatures dressed up as humans. Yeah, creepy. But you should definitely go check it out. It's something to find. Some of these border on art installations. It's definitely worth a small little half hour detour to look at all the things that they have. Maybe buy something, support your local artists, that kind of stuff. Or if you just want to go and check out some of the exhibits, some of the installations, that's, I'm sure that's probably fine too. It's right off the major highway, so it's not that much of a drive if you're passing through Zapata. And if you're there, make sure to stop by Falcon State Park. It's the lake that destroyed the original Zapata. So go there and either curse at it or thank it for destroying old Zapata so that we can have new Zapata. When I was there it was really hot but it was still worth it going. The water levels were low but there was still plenty of fishing going on. I saw plenty of fishermen doing their fishing stuff. So come here, check it out. Enjoy some of the hikes, walk along the coast of the water. Definitely a cool place to stop. Anyways, thanks for watching and learning some Zapata history. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.